Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpine King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a special, special video today. Today we're going to be going over a lot of things about NBA 2K23, but the first thing I need to say, big shout out to my boy Shakedown2012. He back in the building. He went to Vegas. He did the Summer League thing, and guess what he did, bro? He got his hands, bro, them hands on a build of NBA 2K23. So look, he brought it back for the OGs. I'm sorry, I'm OG, I'm OG, I'm sorry. Y'all young boys just gonna have to deal with this. But he brought it back for the OGs and he brought some thoughts along with it. So what we gonna be doing is we gonna be listening to Shakedown 2012's first impressions of his hands on with NBA 2K23. Also, for everybody that like that new shot meter, are you kidding me? You, you like a new shot meter? Oh, well guess what, we gonna talk about that new dunk meter too. Also, y'all still using shot meters? In 2022, that's tough. So without further ado, we're going to go hop right into the video. I'm not even going to waste y'all time. Let's get into this news. We also going to be breaking down our thoughts. So listen, if you hear something that you like, leave it in the comment section. If you hear something you don't like, leave it in the comment section. If your speculative juices is flowing as Shakedown is giving his hands on impressions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. Let's get to it. So shout out to the Shake Squad, Nodi Gang Stand Up, it's your boy Shake, finally back to do my video on my first impressions after playing NBA 2K23. Now it took me a little while to get this video going because I got sick coming out of Vegas for that NBA Summer League event. But I'm recovering now. And Yo, I'm glad you're recovering, my guy. I, you listen, I just got back from Vegas. I know it's crazy out there. It's just people everywhere. Glad that you're safe, bro. That, that, that corona shit is not no joke. It's finally time to get this video going. Also, as a disclaimer, I played the next-gen version of NBA 2K23 on the PS5, and it was a very early build. We oh, you Xbox haters out there. Listen, PlayStation is where it's at. Listen, if you got an Xbox right now, just I hope you get your hands on a PlayStation because obviously we've been hearing through the grapevine. Ain't no crossplay. I'm just going to get that out the way. But for this, this even go down. Are you mad? Because I am. I just want a little bit of crossplay. Just a little bit of crossplay. But it looks like we still going to have to wait on that, man. Proceed, Shake. We only had access to a few teams. It was 5v5 matchups, so no park, no city, uh, nothing that I could tell you guys about the builder just yet. This is strictly just visuals and gameplay related impressions. One of the things that this community likes to say whenever they see gameplay from the next 2K is that, oh, it looks just like the last 2K. On God, y'all like saying that. On God, I know, listen, I know, I know you're a corporate. I know. You're not actually able to determine the difference until you see a side-by-side -side comparison. Looking at gameplay on TikTok or YouTube or some trailer or some leaked footage never gives the game any justice. It's definitely something different. Hey, yo, Shake, where you get these beats from, bro? Tell me where you getting these beats from, bro. I need your guy. I need your guy, bro. Them, these things, he got me. About the lighting and shading, some of the detail I'm seeing in some of the players' faces. There's been some gradual upgrades to the graphics every single year. If you guys compare NBA 2K22 to NBA 2K20, you will see a major difference. Shake. Shake. You just compared last gen and next gen. Proceed. If you compare 2K20 to 2K18, you'll see a big difference. But it's the year-to-year -year incremental changes that are hard to detect sometimes. After playing 2K23 on PS5, it wasn't until I was getting my face rescanned when they had me playing 2K22 again when I realized... They got your hair? All I want to know is that they get the hair, bro. That's all I want to know, bro. The major differences in the look of the game. I think it's more lighting and player models. I think they're more accurate with the body types of the players now. Going to event. Shake. Shake, I love you. But I just want to let you know. The first time that a TikTok video is made about somebody not having their real body type. They're going to come back to this, John, bro. 
That 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 statement right there, bro. Body scans is crucial, bro. Body scans should be like standard now, man. Just saying. Events like this, you normally spend a lot more time hey. mingling and talking to celebrities and hey. NBA players and fellow you know, tall, influencers bro. and things like that, musicians. <laughs> I had a good time doing that. I spent a considerable amount of time chopping it up with some of my favorite people out there. Okay. But I got lucky, man. Mike Wang actually showed up to this event and oh, nah. nah, he was outside. He was definitely outside. Spent some time with me while I was gaming. And he and I were able to share some thoughts and I was able to give him some feedback in real time. The very first thing I tried to do was some of the cheese that we're used to doing in 2K22. We had the Celtics, the Warriors, the Suns, and the Bulls. And after you- The Celtics, the Warriors, the Suns, and the Bulls. The Celtics, the Warriors, the Suns, and the Bulls. Okay, all right, remember that. The Celtics, the Warriors, the Suns, and the Bulls. Okay. This is Steph Curry who clearly had the highest ball handle. I didn't notice like quick first step gold or quick first step hall of fame you know speed boosting my way left or right or giving me the ability to just completely explode in any direction wait 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 run that back quick first step i was able to give him some feedback in real time the very first thing i tried to do was some of the cheese that we're used to doing in 2k22 we had the celtics the warriors the suns and the bulls and after using steph curry who clearly had the highest ball handle i didn't notice like quick first step gold or quick first step hall of fame you know speed boosting my way left or right or giving me the ability to just completely explode in any direction most of you guards know how we do we hit you with a size up and explode left hit you with a combo explode right that stuff wasn't really taking place in this demo where are them dribble heads at huh where y'all at? You heard that? I know y'all gonna be in the comments rioting. No! Dribbling is dead! Listen, calm down. Mike Wayne gonna tweak a little bit of that for y'all, man. You know how he love y'all. He love y'all dribblers. I ain't gonna lie. He love y'all niggas. I ain't gonna lie. When I'm playing 1v1 against other real life players, there's still a severe penalty for them, you know, not predicting which direction you're gonna go in. So you can still get by people, no problem. You can still ISO, it just didn't feel as twitchy, if that makes sense. There's a new jump shot meter, it leaked. If you guys haven't seen it, here it is. Kind of reminds me of the 2K. Yo, y'all peep this drum, right? Yo, we had that on the intro. Yo, yo, loading? It's fire, I ain't gonna lie. Might have to come to you for a couple thumbnails. I don't know, man. Pooks might beat me up. I ain't gonna lie to you. 18 the 2k 20 shot meter i think that's everyone's favorite but there's a new effect on it now when you get a green release it delays the little green animation that pops up so it kind of adds a little bit more suspense if whoa now whoa now whoa now okay so when 2k 22 came out right and you shot inside of my career and the camera changed when you shot and you didn't know if you was getting back on defense. You didn't know how your player react and stuff like that. The only downside I see to that is when somebody put a shot up and it's excellent and it's green and that mug fall and you got one of them long animations on, like maybe a bunny hop or something like that. Like after you green settle and the shot hit the net and then you start bunny hopping, somebody grab the ball R1 L1 that joint down court because you can't get back on defense. That's the only issue I may see with that. But if it doesn't mess with the taking the ball out time, like maybe the ball has to get passed back to the referee or maybe the player grabbing the ball from the make takes a couple steps out of bounds instead of just immediately running out of bounds and getting set to pass an inbounds, maybe. Hopefully it's hopefully it's the way that Shake is envisioning it. But, oh, man, it get tricky. For those of you guys that are used to playing on next gen, you know that we have the ability to force an aggressive dunk. It actually adds more skill to dunking. But here's an exclusive. Since I was kicking it with Mike Wang, I got a chance to see the new dunk meter. And it's very mm. similar to the new jump shot meter. You heard what he said, right? It's very similar to the new shot meter. Now he ain't saying it's the same thing. It ain't. Oh, let's just keep going. It's no longer a big circle that you have to hope you release in time and kind of block some of the animations. Nah, it looks just like the jump shot meter, but there's a catch. 
they changed the button commands. It's no longer just hold down on the right stick and you can activate a force dunk and potentially posterize somebody. I think holding down now is more of a flashy dunk. All I know is Mike Wayne was there laughing at me the whole time. He did it like three times and I couldn't figure it out. I'm yo, I'm gonna run it back like 10, 15 seconds, but yo, Mike Wayne is known for doing that, bro. He will he will put put some in the game, right? That you just can't figure out because it's the first day everybody with it. Everybody's like motor functions and muscle memory is like, yo, this is what you got to do to get an aggressive dunk. He'll pull that move off on you numerous times and look at you like, you ain't really a gamer. You don't really game for real. He did that to us in NBA 2K20, bro. I remember that, bro. I remember that. Mike Wayne ain't known for that, bro. Man. It's no longer just hold down on the right stick and you can activate a force dunk and potentially posterize somebody. I think holding down now is more of a flashy dunk. All I know is Mike Wayne was there laughing at me the whole time. He did it like three times and I couldn't figure it out. I'm definitely gonna need some more time with the game, but I had everybody that I faced give it a try and you know try to figure it out and nobody could figure it out the whole time I was at the event. Mm. Post scoring felt really good, especially if you're backing someone down with a lot of strength. The moment you hit that fade on them, you create a tremendous amount of space and it's really easy to green. This might have. It's really easy to green. Where are my post scores at? Hey, yo, Ron Che! Yo, Ron Che! <laughs> you back, baby? <laughs> Something to do with Michael Jordan being on the cover and Devin Booker because they all had that mid range game, that turnaround jump shot added to their game as well. Just letting you guys know that the post fades feel really nice this year in 2k23 but it was pretty good in 2k22 as well one of the most noticeable aspects of the game was the on-ball defense that 1v1 interaction when i was using chicago i was using lonzo ball and i couldn't believe how well i was able to lock up steph curry with this guy lonzo ball at 6 6 that lateral quickness and the ability to bump the defender to, as fast as i was able to do it gave me some real high hopes for perimeter defense this year All right, so all you locks out there, all y'all locks that love to be the on-ball defender, y'all might be getting a little buff. I ain't going to lie. Y'all was already demons in 22. I can't wait to see what y'all are in 23. Appreciate y'all and all y'all surface. Shout out to my locks. Yeah. I remember joking around with Mike Wang about how it seems like he's trying to cut the cheese, but this community will always find a way. And he looked at me and basically said, challenge accepted, with a smile on his face. He was basically challenging me to figure out some cheese. Now we didn't have hours and upon hours with this game. Of course, once we do, and you guys start pumping out videos and other people start you know, figuring out some of the things you can do in the game, pretty sure somebody's gonna figure some stuff out. But in this demo, during this event, it felt like defense was really strong, or at least it felt like we might not be able to lean on the cheese that we're used to in order to get by. I felt like the closeout speeds on jump shots was way too fast. You would see somebody who looks like they're wide open and that space gets closed out so fast as long as someone jumps out at them. Okay. So somebody look like they wide open, but when you jump at them, you get a good contest. I like that. I like that. One thing that the community has been literally using as a crutch for all of 22 is ghost contests and putting a hand up. A lot of people in the 2K community say, yo, as long as my hand up, I'm there. 29%, 19%. I've seen a 32% before hand up. But boy, when you jump at somebody in that motherfucker, say 46 and up, 53% contest, 100% smother. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. And that brings me to my next moderate concern, the overall game speed. This game definitely felt a lot slower than 2K22. And that's usually the case with every 2K. Every time mm -hmm. it drops, it feels a lot slower. And then the community complains over Twitter and social media. And then Mike Wang puts out an update and they increase the speed. In fact, I remember in 2K20, when people were complaining the game was too slow and then they ramped it up so fast that they had centers out there running around looking like point guards. 
jump shot okay. speed felt slower than normal as well. And that might have contributed to why the closeout speed felt so fast. Even though the jump shot speed feels slower and the closeout speed felt really fast, mm -hmm. it still didn't really deter you from greening the shot. Shake. I'm, I'm going to get to your point first. You mean to tell me that the contest is faster, the jump shot slower, motherfuckers still greening? Mm. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. But what I will say, Shake, you ain't check for blinders? Huh? You ain't check for sniper? Come on, man. You got to check for these things, man. I know you better than that. I know you got a video. C, 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 C. I know you, Shake. You got a video. You got a video on the way about them badges. I know you. I know. Me and you, C, 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 C. We think alike. I can't wait till that video drop. Oh, I can't wait till that video drop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you was talking about quick first step. But you ain't talking about none of these shooting badges, though. Okay. I got your shake. I got your number. A lot of times it felt like guys were all over you by the time you released it because they were able to close out so fast with that slower jump shot speed. But it didn't stop people from greening shots. Most of us are going to play my career in the city, in the park or whatever, and we're going to create our own jump shots. So most people are going to find out the fastest releases anyway. So jump shot speed might not be a big concern, but it just felt a little different playing with these real life players. Left stick dribbling was a little overpowered in this demo. We all know that left stick dribbling is a little harder to defend against unless that perimeter defense upgrade allows you to really get a nice bump on that with really good defenders. Left stick dribbling could be a, a slight problem upon release. Catch and shoot threes were definitely going in without even having to create so much space from the defender. In fact, mm. if you just dot the corner or hit the hash and immediately take the shot with a good shooter, you had a good chance of just greening that release. Right stick hands up defense had little effect on that jump shot. Mm-hmm. Hands, hands up? What's that? What's hands up? Unless you're a taller defender on a real, real small guy. Please don't let blinders live. So they might want to tweak that. I'm not saying it was an exploit, but it definitely felt like a much easier, more successful strategy than trying to force the ball inside. In 2K22, pretty much everybody can chase down block. Uh, you, you see a lot of blocks in the paint. Almost, it's a big threat. It's the real reason why we all have to use quick drop-ins in order to get those fast dunks or you know, otherwise you're gonna get blocked almost 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. Not in 2K23, in fact, even with Lonzo Ball, I was trying to chase down Chris Paul and I just couldn't block him. It just didn't happen often enough. So it definitely felt like they toned down the, the shot blocking in the paint, unless maybe you're an elite defender. We did see DeAndre Ayton get a few blocks in the paint too, but nothing like 2K22 where you could actually challenge people when they go to the rim, which forced us all to use quick drop-ins off one. Just seemed like 2K figured that out, saw that we all were exploiting those animations, and they, they made a move and they, they tried to change it. Of like course. in 22, you didn't really see people driving to the rim doing layups because they knew it was going to get blocked. 23, it feels like layups are back. All Where are my slashers at? Like, not just the slashers that dunk on everybody. Where are my people just like, uh, 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 you feel me? All that jelly, lay, ah. Uh, 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 where y'all at? I'm saying he might have told y'all something real quick. All in all, the game did feel great. It felt way more realistic than 22 feels. It's definitely gonna take some time to get used to. It feels like 2K is trying to adjust to a more realistic feel and get rid of some of the jerky, twitchy animations. I played with NBA players and other influencers, and I didn't really hear anybody complaining about the game itself. So my takeaway and final thoughts is that 2K23 feels a lot more realistic. That's actually got me kind of excited about the game because it felt like I have to learn something new and be excited for something totally different again. Don't get it twisted, man. Some of your favorite animations or button commands are still there with the dribbles. I was still able to do the explosive behind the back moves, the momentum dribbles and all that. It just didn't feel as twitchy. I had a lot of fun playing 2K23. Shout out to Ronnie 2K, OG Constant, and all the guys that flew me out there. Got my face re-scanned for the game. That was really cool too. 
I came back sick, but I'm back on the horse. And now that I've played 2K23, I've got a whole bunch of new build suggestions for you guys. Mm. So click that bell for notifications, mm. man. The Subscribe bill's if coming. you have it. Stick here for the news. Your boy Shake, as always. Smack that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. What is the consensus? What are we? Come on, download all the data, chat. Download all the data. Blocking chase downs. Nerfed. Slashing in the paint, whether it's layups or dunks, buffed. Hands up defense, nerfed, ghost contest. The game feels a little bit slower. You can still speed boost and, you know, do momentums and stuff. Plus, catch and shoot situations don't need as much space as, nor as usual. Jump shots are a little bit slower, but we got jump shot creator for that. Hopefully. What else did we uh the, the new dunk meter? I'm all for it, but like Shake didn't say, is the dunk meter able to be seen by everyone on the court? I don't know. We won't know until Mike Wang or somebody releases that info. So still on the fence about that. What else did we learn? We learned that perimeter defense, as far as bumping and staying with your guy, may be a lot better in 2K23. We're going to have to see if Mike Wang and them decide to tweet, you know, little, little, little stuff just to make it a better experience for everyone. Or will everyone complain first day without no badges, without no attributes, without no Gatorades, without no boost, and... They will complain about how slow the game is and how they can't score and how everybody that is the defender is defending like crazy and how the locks it's 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 the lock city. But I digress. But for real, for real, I do want to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my boy Shake. You know what I'm saying? I will have his channel inside the description as well. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace. You better be our pod, you better be shake. Run with Jay Easy and Bruce or get baked. Right after the loss, your team got a